we have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. These are not just a single collection of actions. This is collective action, people working together at their best. I think a new world order is emerging and with it the foundations of a new and progressive era of international cooperation. And he has to have some luck. The United States a country which really doesn't understand foreign policy very well in terms of its public, uh, because its public is not all that engaged in the world. Nevertheless, the United States is in a key position to shape this so that the problem of the Bush presidency will be the emergence of a new international order. Within the next four years, we will see the emergence of a new international the beginning, order. The beginning of a new international order, and it could well be that this president, who is so reviled by intellectuals, will emerge as one of the seminal presidents of, of, this, of, of his period Let's assume of American and modern history. One of the seminal presidents. He could. Could. What does he have to do? to achieve that status? Well, he has to do certain things and he has to have some luck. Although I believe that, I believe in the branch, Ricky's a, a statement. When he was, when he was a general luck manager, the, the Luck is the residue of design. Uh, <laughs> what was, what, what did he say? He said, luck is the residue of design. Right. He said it about baseball. I know. <laughs> but, uh... From 1945 and the end of the war through 1989 and the end of the Cold War, we had a worldview. Republican and Democratic presidents alike, from Harry Truman to George Bush, stood for freedom and stood for certain propositions that would make America strong and healthy and grow the middle class and shrink poverty and stand against communism. And after 1989, President Bush kept said, and it's a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order. And instead, it looks like we got a lot of disorder. And we still, when, and after 9-11, we've been more sensitive to this. Uh, the, uh, the added problem. So he can't really say that it's one problem, that it's the most important one. Uh, but he can give a new impetus to American foreign policy, partly because the reception of him is so extraordinary around the world. I think his task will be to develop an overall strategy for America in this period when really a new world order can be created. It's a great opportunity. It isn't just a crisis. France intends to pursue together with all people of goodwill around the world this battle to build the new world order of the 21st century. It is a new mindset that the world now needs. It is a real global New Deal that we need, an ecological and an economic New Deal that we need in the name of France. I call upon all states to join ranks in order to found the new world order of the 21st century on this strong idea that the common goods of mankind must be placed under the responsibility of the whole of mankind. In Europe, the view that America is part of what has gone wrong in our world, rather than a force to help us make it right, has become all too common. Yes, there have been differences between America and Europe. No doubt there will be differences in the future. But the burdens of global citizenship continue to bind us together. A change of leadership in Washington will not lift this burden. In this new century, Americans and Europeans alike will be required to do more, not less. 
Partnership and cooperation among nations is not a choice. It is the only way, the one way, to protect our common security and advance our common humanity. What was what? What did he say? He said, "Luck is the residue of desire. Residue of desire. Residue of desire. Residue of desire. Desire.